here I have minus, and here I have plus. What we get in the multimeter? Zero. Means this is a bad battery. When you press the switch and you get a low resistance in the multimeter, means the switch is good. When you press this switch, you short between this point. Hi again. We're going to see the common fault in the tablet motherboard. So the first fault that you will get as a technician, a repairing technician in the tablet motherboard is the power jack connector. As you can see, this connector can be broken, as you can see, because if you use this wrong, you can broke the connector. Okay, so you can get a damaged connector because here this connector can be damaged or you can even get a bad soldering connector. So if you get a bad or a damaged connector, you should replace the connector, the whole connector. But if you get just a good connector, you should check the soldering. You can remake the soldering and the connector will be working work it fine okay so the first fault is disconnect okay second the battery the battery can be failed or can be expired as you can see here this is the battery terminals as you can see we have here the red wire and the black wire always after you use the tablet for many years the battery can be damaged or can be failed so for example this for this battery even if this battery looks new battery but this is a failed battery you know why because if we check this pins i will show you using the multimeter how you can check the battery so we have here the multimeter as you can see so let's put the selector to as you can see to 20 volts okay to 20 volt and then press the power button okay to 20 volts because the battery we have 3.7 in the battery okay and here we have 2 and 20 so we should choose greater than 3.7 so the greater value here in the multimeter in the multimeter is 20 volt okay so let's check these pins as you can see the terminals of the battery as you can see the plus and the minus so let's check the battery right now so let's check it here we have minus as you can see and here we have plus what we get in the multimeter zero means this is a bad battery because the battery even if the tablet battery is empty you have zero percent in the battery you should not get a zero volt here no you should not get a zero volt maybe you can get 2.7 or even 3 volt but zero volt means this is a failed battery okay but sometimes you can just find that the connection of the battery is bad you should make another solder here okay you can uh, also the antenna can be desoldered desoldered the antenna as you can see here the same also for the speaker always when you troubleshoot a motherboard or a tablet motherboard you should check this soldering okay for the mic as you can see this is speaker as you can see here we have speak this is speaker okay so those are for speaker and here we have the mic here over here we have mic okay over here we have mic as you can see okay so also you can check this connection always sometimes when you open a tablet you find that this this is not locked correctly so you should check also these connectors okay the same for the connectors for the camera also and this connector also for the touch screen okay also you can find 
IC. IC can be broken or can, can be damaged. So you can just by plugging here the USB cable or the power, you can, you can check the heat of the IC. If you find that the heat of the IC is not normal, if the heat is increased, the IC is hot, means the IC is bad. Or you can check the uh, ceramic capacitor around the IC, as I told you. Also, sometimes the SIM slot can be damaged. Then you should check these pins. If one of these pins is broken, the SIM can be failed. Also, you should check here the soldering of these pins and also these pins as you see we have his sim this is the same slot the same also for this for the tf slot you should check its solder of course the connection or connection over here okay then also we can get sometimes fails like usb connector fails okay USB, if these pins are failed, you can get a USB connector failure, okay, or even the audio connector. I will show you an audio connector that is burned out, as you can see, this audio connector. Do you see this? This is a burned out audio connector, as you can see. So this is the cause of failure for this motherboard, as you can see, this is burned out. Okay, so always you should check all connectors in the motherboard. Okay. Of course, there is another failure that can be happen in tablet motherboard is the BIOS. The BIOS, as you can see, can be damaged. The IC can be damaged itself, but 90% the IC cannot be damaged. The program inside the IC can be corrupted. So, if, for example, you get a motherboard that is good, all its components are good, you check the component, you check the battery, you check uh, the connectors, you check also all components and ICs and connectors and you find all hardware are good so the problem can be in the BIOS you should reprogram the BIOS or flash the BIOS again because the program inside the BIOS is corrupted okay now I will show you how to check the switches in the motherboard so as you can see here this is some switches in this tablet motherboard as you can see okay this is the switch for the power as you can see and this is the volume the volume switches so how can we check if these switches are good or not easy as you can see always the switch as you can see here contain two terminals or two pins one terminal is connected to the ground and the second is connected to the high power is connected to the power okay so let's check using the multimeter so we have here our multimeter as you can see we should first put the multimeter to the buzzer option okay as you can see here to the continuity option the power on the power meter or the multimeter so let's check these switches so let's first put one prop of the multimeter to the ground as we can see here for example we have ground here in the USB connector okay here we have ground okay everywhere we have ground so let's look for the pin that is connected to the ground as you can see so this pin is connected to the ground also this is connected to the ground and also this is connected to the ground so here we have the, the pin that is connected to the ground okay and so because this pin is connected to the ground this pin should be connected to the power so to check this 
switch, we should put the probe, the black probe, in the ground, and the red probe in the pin that is connected to the power, and then press the switch, as you can see. And press the switch. When you press the switch and you get a low resistance in the multimeter or you hear a buzzer, means the switch is good. Okay, so let's check the second switch. So let's check the second switch. Here we have the pin, as you see, the high pin. So let's put the red probe here and press the switch, as you see. Okay, this switch also is good. So let's check this pin also, as you can see here. So let's put the red probe here and press the, switch, the pin, as you can see. Means the pin or the switch is good. Okay, I will draw for you the schematic of this switch in order to understand the working principle. Okay, for every switch, as you can see, every switch in the motherboard has two pins. Okay, one pin is connected to the ground. Okay, one pin is connected to the ground, and the other pin, okay, is connected to the voltage. Okay, and here, of course, we have the body of the switch. Okay, so when you put the black probe of the multimeter in the ground, okay, and the red probe here, as you can see, so, so the black probe here, and we have here the red probe, okay, and the black probe here in the ground. So when you press this switch, you short between this point. That's why this point, the voltage point, will be connected to the ground. Then you will get a continuity in the multimeter or a buzzing option. And when you release the switch, the continuity will stop between these two pins. Okay? So let's check another switch from another motherboard in order to understand properly. So here also we have other switches as you can see here. So we have these two switches and we have also another switch. So for example let's check this switch. So first we should, as I told to you, we should first look for the ground. So let's put the black probe here. As you see here we have ground everywhere. So let's check where is the ground in this pin. So we have the first pin or the second pin. So here this is the ground. So this is the high pin or the pin that is connected. Connected to what? To the voltage. So, so I should put the red probe here and then. So I should put the red probe here and press the switch as you can see. As you can see. So the switch is good. Let's check this also. So here we have ground switch. Check this switch also. As you can see. Let's check this also. Okay. So this is the trick that we can we use to check the switches. So if you put the high pin, the red probe of the multimeter in the high pin and you press the switch and you didn't hear any buzzer or you didn't get any continuity here means what means the switch is bad you should replace it okay